Hey guys, welcome back to Gold's Gear. My name is Ed, and today we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the Razer Nari Ultimate gaming headset. So I was actually in a random, slight, personally self-imposed rush to get a gaming headset just because I wanted to buy something that helps me with gaming or enjoy the experience a little bit more. And I was looking up on some videos about some decent options that you can get ranging from anywhere from $55 all the way up to like $250, some even $300. And felt like there were some that I liked but couldn't justify the pricing for and some that I just couldn't go as cheap for just because I didn't really like the design for it or the aesthetic. So I ended up going with something that wasn't even considered on my list. I didn't even know it existed, but it looked pretty cool. I liked the design. I asked my cousin between one of two that I wanted to get, and she also said she liked the design too, and I trust her you know, input for things. So this is what I ended up with, and let's check out what features are um, you know, highlighted for this product. So this one has apparently wired and wireless connection, which is pretty decent. Um, you can get, see the specifics on the connectivity aspect of it. It has a hidden indent for eyewear channels, which is great because I wear glasses, uh, powered by Razer Chroma. Um, I don't know if that's for color options, I guess for aesthetics purposes. The Hypersense technology, I guess this is the haptics that was highlighted in the front. Um, I'm curious to see how that'll go for me because I feel like I am sensitivity deaf and sometimes don't hear the footsteps to, or hear the footsteps and still don't know where they are. So hopefully that'll help me. Um, auto adjusting headband, so for comfort and fit, and then the TSS-8THX spatial audio. Um, it doesn't go into specifics on like the how many millimeter driver. I know some of that is a call out for some of their other products. So hopefully somebody else in the comments or something can provide an insight to it, but let's crack open the box and see what we have. So presentation wise, definitely um, pretty adequate. You know, it's nothing too spectacular, but I mean, it, it does the job. It says, here's your headphones. Um, just immediately, I guess we don't really need too many of the other frills, but the main unit itself, actually, I'm pleasantly surprised with the build quality. Um, I thought it was gonna actually just be pure plastic, but the headband itself has a metal component to it. I don't know if it's alum aluminum or basic steel, but at least it'll be durable. The swivel is nice. Um, the plastic parts do feel pretty durable itself. And it does have the mic that is also uh, extendable and then retractable, which I like as a overall aesthetic instead of just having the ones where it's a stick and then you just flip it up. Um, it's pretty old school with that design, but I mean, to each their own. So I actually really like this as an overall and we'll definitely see how the overall sound will be and the battery life, um, the controls you see over here for volume, I'm assuming. And then this is probably a connection button, the audio input, the USB 3.0, or actually the, I don't know which one that one is, maybe the micro USB, and then the headset and power button, and then the mute button. So some controls on here automatically and then see what other uh, options there are. And hopefully if you guys have any other input or where you guys prefer or think this is totally worth it. Last thing I forgot to mention, I think price was somewhere around 100 or 105. So depending on where you're getting it, you might be able to get it for cheaper, but this is my new gaming headset. So let me know what you guys think about it. Thanks.